Happy January 20th, everyone. I'm Liam, and we are playing the 2024 Quest Calendar by Sundial Games, the Leaf Riders of Renwood. Yesterday wasn't terrible. We're still more than half dead, so there's that, but we rescued a merchant who was thankful and helped us out a little in return. Um, so we've got some amber in our pocket now, five amber, and I believe we're on the doorstep, so to speak, of Crown Spire City. So let's see what adventure is in store for us today. You finally arrive at the great city of Crown Spire. A long line has formed to get through the gate. Guards are likely doing thorough security checks for all the travelers coming for the festival. While waiting, you notice a suspicious critter stealing things from the others in the line. Uh-oh. Okay, we have some choices to make here. We can persuade the thief to return the items, or attempt to. We can attempt to threaten the thief. And, oh, we can just outright attack the thief. Okay. Um, what would, what would Quill do? So we've got, uh, actually, I need to this page. There we go. Okay. Um, persuade the thief to return the items. That's a charisma roll. Uh, threaten the thief for intimidated strength. <clears throat> Just attack. Our, our strength, or strength is not a strength of ours. Um, Charisma is not a strength of ours. So, uh, what are we? We are wise and intelligent. What would be the wise and intelligent thing to do? Probably, probably the peaceful route. Persuade the thief. But I can see, I mean, Quill has had a pretty rough few days. <laughs> a pretty rough week, honestly. The kids way back in the village weren't impressed. She had a rough time with those insects. She got stabbed by a thorn trap. She's been really hungry, so she's not in the best of moods, I would think. Um, so, I, can't, I don't know. I could see her doing all these things. So I think I'm gonna roll. We'll give it, um, let's say one to three, she's gonna persuade the thief. She's gonna try to persuade the thief. Take the peaceful route. Four or five, she'll try to intimidate the thief. And six, <clears throat> she's just had enough. And she, she just she just goes ballistic on this critter. Okay, here we go. Two, okay. she's gonna. We're going to try to persuade the thief to return the items. That's a d20 plus charisma. Our charisma is minus one. So d20 minus one. And I don't think anything's going to help us with that. 19. Wow. So she rolled 19 minus 1 is 18. If the result is 15 or more, the rat, it's a rat, the rat seems taken aback by your words. He looks around at everyone and takes in the scene. He huffs and drops a sack full of the stuff he stole. You're right, says the rat. Today should be a time to celebrate. Take one warding ointment and one amber. So I guess... We're going to return the stuff to the people she stole from, and in return, they give her, they give Quill a warding ointment. Warn it. That will help our defense if we get in a fight. And what was it? Warding ointment and one amber. So we're up to six amber. Okay, maybe, maybe he saw something in our eyes. <laughs> that was more persuasive then otherwise might not have been there had we had a better week. <laughs> so, okay. Um, what else is on this? That's it. Oh, <laughs> after that, we can pickpocket. There's a pickpocket icon on this page, so we could pickpocket somebody. Now, um, Jen in the comments had a brilliant uh, interpretation of this pickpocketing. Thing. I, I just can't bring my I can't see any of the characters we're playing so far to actually want to steal from people so um, but Jen suggested uh, she's treating her her pets so um, Quill has this rhinoceros beetle Nova um, so she's treating the pets as a little mischievous they just they they tend to find shinies on the ground maybe on a person's possession but who knows and 
and maybe it's difficult to determine who where it came from and oh well I guess we've acquired some uh, amber so the rules for this I'm gonna go with that because I really like it I think it solves a couple of problems um, so the rules for pickpocketing or you know your pet acquiring things in innocently <laughs> if, uh, if you can believe that we're gonna roll a d4 uh, so Nova found three amber in the midst and you know, maybe maybe it fell out of the thieves pocket um, Okay, so we're up to nine amber Raise this And up to nine I like that. Okay Good job Nova <laughs> All right. It gives us a purpose for the pets too. I haven't really see them come into the adventure so far except to just sort of be there so all right that is i believe um yeah I, this is probably the last day we know we'll play the lottery tomorrow yeah i'm really enjoying how the story is converging here on the leaf turning festival in crown spire city talk is on his way way back from week one if you remember Thatch is working on the tree itself here in Crown Spire City, and now Quill is here too, outside waiting in the line. I think she could probably jump the line if she wanted. She's a friend of Queen Enid, um, and so uh, that's fun. Okay, we will say goodbye for today and visit Quill again tomorrow. We'll do the Sunday lottery. And then we will meet our fourth and, I believe, final introductory character. Uh, we'll do that tomorrow. I hope you'll join us. Thanks for watching.